Now we're approaching this part in the game where I don't exactly... I'm not super knowledgeable, I guess, in the later games of EU4 because I think as most EU4 players, they tend to stop whenever they accomplish their goals. Uh, we're about to head into the 1700s and I'm gonna be honest with you, I've played very little games past the 1700s and I'm starting to notice just a huge diplomatic like spider web that, that's occurring. Just so many different like, you know, you, 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 ally, you ally one nation and then that impacts like the other groups of nations and it just, it just becomes so complicated. Now, obviously, my biggest rivals are Spain and Great Britain, uh, and, and I, I think I made some very smart choices with my own alliances uh, because I personally have allied to, uh, hold on, let me just show you, there we go, I've allied to Mamluks, uh, Austria, and Scandinavia. These are all nations that could provide some extra support right behind um, my rivals. So yeah, they might be having their sights set on the New Worlds, but they'd, they'd be getting themselves into a massive continental war. Uh, someone like Spain would be screwed. The, the person that would probably be best involved would be Great Britain. Um, Scan they would have to break their, their own alliance with Scandinavia, so that would make things complicated on their part, but besides that, they'd be pretty free to, to, to run at me. And, and Great Britain is one of those, they're one of those nations that kind of, I think, would absolutely destroy me, even though I've got the alliances up and everything, just because they've got so many colon, colonists and, and, and uh, I guess, colonies throughout this new world. They've got Newfoundland, they've got the 13 colonies, they've got British, uh, the British Caribbean, or I guess the British West Indies. They've got the British Columbia, the British Columbia, British Columbia. Oh, it just, it just is so complicated. I think Great Britain could easily wipe me out, but that's we're not even trying to go to work Great Britain. I'm trying to go after Spain. Spain is a much more for, foreseeable foe, I guess. Uh, someone, I think, a lot easier to take on and maybe destroy. Uh, we are currently colonizing Central America, and I think we're doing a pretty okay job of it. Oh, nice. Uh, yeah, and I think what we might do, before we start to colonize more inland U.S., uh, I think I want to pick up some of these islands out here because there's six base tax, and, and not only for that reason, but also because, wow, all this stuff is six base tax, uh, but also because Portuguese Brazil is currently at 84% liberty desire with Portugal. Uh, I, and right now I'm getting a big penalty because of the distance between borders, and I don't know if I want to wait that much longer. I want to support their independence. I want to go to war with Portugal. I'm sure Spain will join in, and that'll be the perfect way for me to grab my own provinces, or or who knows, at least like weaken Portugal a bit. That'll be a start. If I could ally to Portuguese Brazil, that'd be a huge, huge thing for me, because they're arguably my size. They're the only other nation in the New World that is bigger than mine, bigger than me. Uh, I also have a new border with New California. Or I guess California. It's not New California. Um, I thought it was New California, though, before, but I guess not. Okay, Diplomatic Technology 20. I can now build royal palaces, and uh, well, I guess that's just one, and then can build a refinery. Still behind in technology, but we're catching up fast. We've got eight all, all along the board here, and we finished up a nice little claim on New Spain. All right. So currently, if I if I go to war with oh Great Britain, it doesn't matter. There's no way if I go to war for, with New Spain, Great Britain, Portugal would join, and then you know the rest of their little guys, probably some vassals or something. And none of my allies would join. Distant war, distant war, distant war. That's kind of annoying. That is a bit annoying. Okay, let's. We might as well get the legitimacy because I'm already at uh, plus three stability. All right, let's kind of group these guys up, unite my navy. Wherever they go. Where are you guys at? I want to make sure that these heavy ships get in there. Alright. Unite. Keep on going. There you go. Okay. Um, I do want to go to war with some natives, but I, I'm, it's not my, like, it's not a super huge priority right now. I, I'm actually not doing very good in army tradition, which might be another reason why I might want to go to war with some natives, just because, uh, just to keep up my army tradition, maybe... I, I know natives can't build any boats, so I wouldn't be able to really improve my naval tradition, unfortunately. It would have been nice. Oh, I've got to lose stability here. I don't want to get any excess uh, trade policy failing. as That, that is expired. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't know. I, I, I kind of i am thinking about maybe uh, going to war with some natives, but it's easy, and I feel like I'm just I'm wasting my time there. I, I might as well just focus on colonization and, and, and maybe catching up in technology. As you can see, you know, I just took the stability hit instead of getting that uh, extra 0.5% to technology costs. 
just because I want to catch up. I want to be with the head of the pack. I mean, currently right now, let's double check and see where I'm at. I am, I'm 21, 20, 22. Okay, and currently Spain is 19, 22, 22. Okay, there we go. Perfect. Let's make sure we grab the big one right there. So it looks like uh, Great Britain is, is totally cool with us grabbing all these provinces down here. I think that they've got their eyes set on, on these six base tax islands in the Caribbean. And I will say I will definitely go after this stuff. I want to go after this stuff for Portuguese Brazil and to cut that distance between borders penalty. I'm pretty sure if I grab this one, that'll be enough, to be honest. Uh, this stuff isn't that good, but maybe I'll think about it. Dang, stability just continues to go back up. I know I'm getting more unrest for it, but uh, provincial unrest, but that doesn't really matter because my national unrest is so low. Negative 9.47. This has been one of those games where I just say, oh, damn it, I've got to lose stability again. I'm, I'm not losing that much prestige. No way. Okay, this one's ended and I've lost stability. Uh, okay, so let's, let's, now that we've got our dip, diplomat back, and actually Port Portuguese Brazil really likes me. They're friendly towards me. I've, I've already improved relations with them a lot. Hmm. Portuguese army strength. So it looks like Portugal has a, a small army. And I don't know if their allies would want to join in. If Portugal gets on in like on a war, maybe like a European war, that'd be great for us in the new world. I just, I, I don't know if that's going to be the case, to be honest. This is lowering. That distance between borders penalty is lowering. I'm not sure if it's because I'm colonizing out here or what. Um, and you know what? I'm actually maybe just going to leave these provinces down here. I don't need this stuff. Uh, that's fine if Great Britain wants to take this. This is one base tax. I had much, much... Oh, France is in a civil war. The rest of France, that is. Because France, as you can see, is down to two provinces. Uh, yeah, for everything else, now I'm going after these islands. If British Columbia wants to go and expand out this way, that's fine. They can take one base tax provinces from me. I don't, I don't want that. They probably won't, actually. It'll probably be there for a while because they've left this province for a really long time. So uh, right now, oh, we get, do we get a new idea group? Wow, that was fast. Okay. So yeah, we went over in the last video. I really want diplomatic ideas. I think that would be best. But at the same time, I would like an extra missionary. Although most of our expansion is just going to be through colonization, and those coloni colonized provinces already get our religion as it is. So uh, it might not be worth it if we do something like that. I don't know. I feel like I should probably go down another offensive idea or another, like, military idea. I'm thinking quantity. I'm thinking quantity, to be honest. Just because that's one thing that we, we have. Our, our thing is, is quantity. Spain has declared war on the knights. There it is. Spain is so vulnerable. They will never be able to withstand the knights and their powerfulness. Where are the knights out? Where are the knights at now? Do they still have their traditional stuff out this way? Byzantium, Crete. I don't know where the knights are. Oh, here they are. Are you going after just that one little island there? Malta? It looks like you might be. Dang, that's sad. That's just messed up. Oh, this conversion is now taking much longer. A lot longer. Oh, and we lost somebody. So do I want to continue with this amazing economy? Or do I want to maybe get yearly prestige? I'd rather get, honestly, national tax modifier. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. And this is going to really free up a lot of room here to, to, I don't know, to do a lot with either getting my army to the force limit, and I think I will right now. What, what's my army composition look, looking like? We could definitely use some more cavalry units. Actually, artillery. Artillery would probably be a little bit better. Uh, but where could we use them at the most? Probably down south here, to be honest. And we, we might be able to build this stuff faster. So do I want to build... I want to build like... Hmm. Let's build like... I don't know. Like 10 of these guys, maybe? A lot. Just build, just build all that. Just all artillery units, uh, and then the rest could be maybe a few more infantry. We'll wait. We'll wait. Let's see. How many call? How, how many did I? I just got twelve. So that'll bring us just one under. So I'll I'll get one more infantry unit, and that'll be good. Got to be careful because, again, you know, I, army composition isn't the best. Like, you know, you don't have to focus on it too much. But I know for a fact, late game, uh, a lot of the really good EU four players, army composition is really important, especially when we have. A, uh, a military that's super spread out as it is protecting all sorts of sides of our empire. So army composition is going to be extremely important that we 
uh, are able to fight and withstand something before reinforcements get there. All right, so how are we feeling, Portuguese Brazil? How are we feeling? I'd like to get it to at least 100. It is moving up there. Uh, our relationship is is moving up there, and I don't think I can do anything else. I can, I can ask for military access. That would they would like that. Okay, how are my colonists doing? Okay, they're finishing up. Good, good. So we're gonna be going after those islands. How's my economy doing now? Oh, nice. Okay, let's combine somewhere, bring them in to some to some point, and maybe get up some more boats. To be honest, I'm thinking some just straight up galleys. Just straight up some galleys right here. Wow, my naval force was at 100. I need to get a lot of these guys. Not a lot, a lot, but enough. And th these are actually pretty cheap ships as well, so I'm going to get a pretty significant amount. As you can see, I'm building them all along the east coast of the U.S., so that'll be nice. My economy can sustain it now. And uh, I don't need to focus... You know, I'm okay with having a level 1 advisor in administrative technology. Yeah, because we're ahead of the pack now. Once again, we're ahead, so that's good. And we're not, we, we, we've completely stopped, uh, oh, there we go, perfect. Okay, wait, now, now that I'm on this subject, I need to go after those islands. So let's, let's take off, let's take my transport ships. And where are you guys at? Transport, there we go. So how many do we have? I think we have like 11, if I, if I remember correctly. Bam, okay, select, and uh, we'll meet them out over this way. The rest of the fleet will continue to protect in the Chesapeake Bay. And where are you at? There you go. Boom. Continue on your mission. We just got a whole bunch of artillery units. They're going to need some infantry units if they're going to withstand, though. I can't just take a whole wad of, of artillery units. That's not going to be enough. I'd like to take, like, maybe five. Let's get five, and then... Do I have much infantry down here? I don't have very much infantry. I'm going to need a lot more than that. Let's build a few infantry real quick. Okay. And we're going to finish a lot of colonies. Autonomy increase. Oh, that's expired. Okay. We're about to finish a lot more colonies. And unfortunately, I am going to need now more infantry. Because I've probably built a little bit too many artillery units. That's good. It's going to be able to siege out provinces a little bit faster. Artillery is always, always good for that reason. But I'm sure we'll be able to withstand some natives, even with a weird a weird thing like this. Okay, so get on the transport ship and uh, get over to my new island. And I want to cut off Great Britain now. Yeah, because I want to cut off Great Britain right there. We'll send over the colonists. Six base tax. And then hopefully that'll allow us to get all the remaining uh, islands down south here. That might be a really good idea. Okay, more military technology. It's very much welcomed. Oh, and we get some new cavalry. Not the biggest deal, because we don't have very many cavalry units as it is. Still nice. Okay, let's let's get them off over this way. So how fast are you guys going to get there? And I'm wondering if, as soon as we establish the colony, not as a self-sustaining colony, but as soon as we, if we establish it, I'm wondering if that'll be enough for us to improve relations with uh, Portuguese Brazil. If it's not, that's fine. Uh, that's totally okay, but I'd like to see what and when... We also finished up another colonist, a colony, so I'm going to send some more over towards those islands. We'll check. Uh, we, like we said, it's gonna, he's going to get there fast. 168 days. Hopefully it's just as soon as you uh, begin the colony, that's when they like it. Let's lose some more inflation because, of course, we have always been getting more and more inflation. Now it's down to 0 .88. Not bad. Not bad. It's rising, obviously, very quickly, as it always is going to be. So which one do you finish? Okay, we finished there. So... Let's have you guys meet in Honduras. All right, so five should be enough. Let's get them inside the fleet and go back. Oh, we actually probably have to go here first, yeah. Surprised that France hasn't continued to... Oh, they, France can't... Oh, yeah, never mind. France can't sustain this sort of thing. France would be a really good one to go to war with to take over... What is this? 8.6 base tax value? Holy shit. That's amazing to take from them. That would be really, really amazing. Flanders is currently allied to... They're allied to Savoy. Savoy wouldn't be able to... We could go after Flanders, to be honest. I think. Yeah, that wouldn't be hard at all. Ottomans have broken their alliance with Lithuania. The Ottomans are practically dead, so... That doesn't matter too much. Oh, okay, so these are these two islands are together. Alright, makes sense, I guess. 
makes a lot of sense. Okay, and also those galleys have been finished up, so I should probably... Wow. Wow, holy crap. This is looking good now. This is looking good now. What is this? What's my total at? 38. Yeah, we should be able to kick some, some new world ass, I think, with 38 ships. Continue to protect Chesapeake Bay. Uh, we, we would have to consider a great admiral if that was the case, though. If, if it came down to it, we would definitely need to consider a great admiral. Hey, where'd my boats go? They went back, right? I sent them back? Okay, good. Because they are suffering from attrition over there. Okay, so let's check. Is Portuguese Brazil with cool with us now? Support independence. Oh, it's so close. It's so damn close. We are right there. I don't understand what they, what else they could want, honestly. We are right there. If I continue also, if I continue to uh, build up my navy, that'll help. Continue to slowly build up my military, just my army in general, that'll be good. Actually, no, we're looking more at the Portuguese army tr uh, strength. Oh, no, no, we're also looking at the Mayan army strength. So they're not looking at my, my navy at all. Mayan diplomatic reputation, they like us. Friendly attitude helps out by 10. Portuguese Brazil, opinion about Maya. Uh, now, the big issue is just... Okay, so if I continue to improve my navy, that'll help. This is going to pull us down into a war. I think I'm ready for it. I hope that I, I hope that I don't have a lot of troops protecting in the Caribbean, but hey, we got to do what we got to do. We will see. Okay, how, have we finished up here? Almost. Uh, these guys have finished up a lot. And let's see, what, what, what's our progress at? You're still making your way. Yeah, so one colonist is still traveling over. Um, and it'll probably be about another year or two for these guys to finish up in Central America. So not bad. Not bad at all. Okay, my economy is lowering. It's at 4.58 ducats. Not as good as it was before. Maybe let's go to war. I think we should probably go to war with some of these natives. What is this? Three base tax. Three base tax. Who are you exa allied to exactly? Doesn't really matter, uh, to be honest. Yeah, it doesn't really matter. We can we can handle it. Okay, let's 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 have them travel over this way. Cause I don't think we're gonna see any more rebels in like modern day Vinland anymore. So that's nice. We are over our force limit. Hmm. We are over our force limit as well as our military general it sucks. Absolutely sucks. Okay. Um. And and another thing I want to do is maybe. I'm wondering if I, I'm wondering what else I can do really to help this out. Wait a second, what's going on? <gasps> Wait a second. What is it, who is this? Spain, occupied by Venice. Oh, okay, okay, I was, okay, that green was very similar to the Brazilian green, so, or the Portuguese uh, green. I was just getting really excited there, seeing that. I was getting way, 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 way too excited seeing Venice all the way down here. That was a nice sight. I thought, I thought it was Portugal, though, which would have been Portuguese Brazil, I guess, just to be more specific. Uh, Persia has broken their alliance with Yarkand, Yarkand, I think. Maybe we should fabricate a claim on these guys as well. We're definitely going to go, oh, I can't either. I can't either. Do we still have this claim? We do, but whoa, they have a crap load of alliances. And currently, yeah, I don't think we can do that. Uh, I don't think we can do that just yet. I can't fabricate anything else. Okay, so I guess we're not. I guess we're not going go to go to war with the natives. Not a big deal to me. It doesn't doesn't make me sad at all. Okay, there. Boom. He's there. So has this increased the or has this decreased the distance between borders? How fast is my improved relations going down? Not that fa not that far. Novgorod. Hey, wait a sec. Oh, and the annexation of of Norway is about to finish up right now. Perfect. How are we looking? It's going down slowly, like by one. Venice is also doing a great job. Is Spain losing this war? I didn't think they would lose this war. There's no way. Technically, no, they're winning this war. Just Venice is over here for some reason. And I'm wondering if I were to declare war on someone like New Spain right now while they're at war. Oh, everyone's willing to join. Damn it. Well, we're going to try to figure out something. We're trying. We're trying our best right now. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.